everyone welcome back to AB treats I hope everyone is doing well so I've started off the morning by taking Lainey to school with her cousin yep she's got some Halloween hair bows in her hair all ready for Halloween um, so yeah I decided to get my hair done have a new look there's me sitting down at the salon so I've been to this salon before and I would definitely recommend it so it's been long overdue since I've had my hair done um, so I wanted a bit of a change so I decided to go for a balayage again but um, some more highlights on the top I didn't want to go too light because I feel like dark looks better in winter so here's my foils ready for my hair and there I am waiting to get my hair done so guys look who's awake it's the shit Lissy is awake so nappy change first get her ready and one suck on one suck off brilliant then inshallah give us some milk and then she will be ready to facetime mommy is that right as mentioned guys Alyssa's all ready now and she's gonna facetime her mom just say hi to her and good morning of course still very early in the morning Anissa's gone there. You guys are getting to see what she's doing as well as myself. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. Day in the life, just showing you a bit of both sides, compromising. And yeah, it's me and Alyssa spending some quality time together. <laughs> there she is. Anyways, let me carry on getting her nicely put creaming on her face as well, guys. Body cutting pampers, got some other stuff in still which I'll show you. Now time for some lotion, Johnson baby lotion for baby Alyssa. Guys, I remember the first time I was doing this uh, with Elena, never had a clue, put the nappy upside down. But now Alhamdulillah expert, I've got <laughs> the whole hang of why to use everything guys. Another good thing that we use, which I brought from Aldi in fact, I don't know if they do now, they had like a baby kind of week going on was this uh, little cream massaging cream which is great for massaging the baby's legs even the arms brilliant thing and helps at night to sleep let me show you this one so this is the one here i don't know if you can see du -du 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 -du. massage lotion so lavender massage lotion guys it says suitable for sensitive skin and for anyone with eczema as well so it's called Sweet Dream, helps to put at night, gives them a better sleep. Uh, so yeah, that's something that we use at night time, but there's a lot of bits and bobs. I think we need to do a vlog to show you guys everything that we use, what we recommend and what we don't recommend, which has been asked a lot. So anyways, she does have a little cough by the way. So yeah, Alhamdulillah. Let's carry on with the rest of the day. We're gonna have a quick change of socks for Alyssa. I like these. I know they don't match. I ain't got a clue how to match. But <laughs> I like these ones, so we're gonna put these on instead of the bows. Let me know what you think. There we go. They look a lot more better and comfier. Is that good? Yes. So as you can see, I'm all ready. I've got my foils in. And my lovely hairstylist has already started on my hair. Let's get some milk in. guys this is the last minute finishing touches my hairstylist decided to curl my hair and there you are my hair is all done and looking fresh i'm absolutely in love with my new hair and i hope you guys enjoyed it too right Lisa had a lovely little nap well good hour nap now she's having milk again. This time we're not using man bottles, we're using Dr. Brown's bottles. These are very good. So Lisa's gonna have her milk like this. 
because somebody's come back from school. So my daughter's come back from school, Princess Lainey, and uh, we're gonna get you changed, ready for the rest of the day. Mommy's gonna be home literally in an hour's time and we all are gonna see her hair for the first time. So it's gonna be a bit of a surprise for us all. What color do you think she's gone for? Blonde? Yeah. I think she's gone for brown. Um, Let's see who's right then, yeah? So we'll keep you guys think posted. It's brown and two I think, colours. I think it's brown and brown and blonde. Yeah. Right, I think it's brown, you think it's brown and blonde. You might be right. We'll see. We'll find out why Alyssa's TV is blasted. We'll see you shortly. Another quick update, Alyssa's come back to sleep and that noise is the white noise on the TV and me and Elena are playing with dolls. So I'm this one here and I'm the sister, yeah? Hello, how are you? Okay. Right, I'll see you in a minute because I'm not going to carry on that voice. Ta-da! Right my beautiful people, so Anissa's home, hair looks amazing can't fault it and she said apparently when she washes it it'll be even more something I ain't got a clue right I'm quickly making a light little uh, lunch or dinner sorry pasta so we're gonna make some pasta I don't want to make you meat and I don't want to make you full of gima and chicken I just want to keep it nice simple pasta sauce a bit of pepper onion and of course adding a salmon fish in there as well that will do me so that'll be tonight, inshallah. So Alyssa's and Alyssa's job now is about 6.30ish in the evening to 7pm. Gonna crack on with this and show you guys the chef working. Guys, big up uh, Aldi's. They've got this sauce, which I prefer. They've got a couple of different types. Uh, this is a cherry tomato and chili pasta. Beautiful, beautiful pasta sauce, which I'm gonna obviously add in as well. But anyways, Time to chop up the onions. I've got the pasta on the boil. So, uh, slicey cup in it. I'd rather use these than the um, the white ones. I feel like these are far better. I don't want to make them too thin. I don't want to make them too small. I want to keep them a decent medium size. I have to awkwardly cut like this. I'm not standing up and it's not enjoyable. But I want to show you guys as well the process. So, onions it is. And then obviously add in some pepper as well. Can't forget a bit of pepper. I would have added more stuff in, but whatever I could find in the fridge, I whacked it in. So, this will do. I'm going to show you the process. Pasta's in the boil. Got my seasoning. Got my sauce. Can't go wrong. There we have it. So if I can somehow show you all, we've got some peppers and onions chopped up. Again, onions are kept medium size. Peppers are slightly larger than the obviously the onions because I, I don't want to make it like a salad or like rice. I'm talking like I'm a chef, but I ain't a chef. But yeah, this is the way I prefer doing it. And I've got a lovely salmon, which again, I'll season myself. And no pre-brought seasoning, season myself because you know exactly what's going in there. Um, so yeah, cooked with coconut oil, tastes even better. Now that's going to go in with the pasta at the end and inshallah taste 10 out of 10. So salmon, pasta, beautiful. And I'm using ground wholemeal pasta. Uh, got a tiny bit of oil in there so it doesn't stick the pasta. There we go. Coming along. Right, quick hack, don't let it get completely soft, right, it's, this is perfect, it's medium. Now the reason why I say this is I'm going to add the pasta sauce in and add, make the pasta sauce like quite watery, so the pasta takes in that sauce and boils in with that sauce. Let me show you what I mean. Right, oil. Right, in 
for the sauce. And guys, because I half cooked the pasta, I'm going to put water into this. Tiny bit, only about that much. Into the sauce like that. Now straight away I'm going to add the pasta in. Just like that. There we go, so the pasta in with the sauce, lid on, let that cook now and boil the rest of the pasta. Like that. Perfect. Guys, this is a slight little reminder just to let you all know how hectic uh, life is, alhamdulillah, I can't complain. With obviously business, with work, with kids. You know, we have so much going on, so we can't do daily vlogs or throw that many vlogs out to you. Uh, unless it's school holidays, then we can. But it's like routine after routine, kids getting ready for school, coming back, etc. But that's how it goes. So you've seen everything today. You've seen, I've still got some probably marks because of uh, Lisa's uh, milk burping. But you've seen Lisa's hair. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below if you think it's... If you like it or you don't like it, let me know what you say. I think it looks brilliant. And I, I did say to her when it, I think it a little bit lighter, but she said when you wash it, it does get lighter. So I think we're going to end the vlog most likely here. Pasta done. I'm going to show you the end of the pasta and we are going to wrap it up from here. Hope you enjoyed this one. It wasn't much me. It was just showing you what I'm doing at home and showing you what she's doing at the, uh, I nearly said barbers, I mean salon. So uh, you get to see a bit of both. I had a great time with Alyssa, spent some fantastic time with her, so can't go wrong. Anyways, pasta's on the boil. These things I'm going to add at the end. Uh, it's just literally like a like peri peri salt kind of seasoning. And obviously that as well. You don't need to cook it for too long. So you can add that at the end, like a little garnish. Guys, it's the easiest pasta you can make in the world. It's not hard. But I don't want to have any chicken or meat. That's why. Vegetarian dish. There we have it. All done. Completed. Look at that.